a hero's welcome after three years of house arrest abroad. Hundreds of supporters gathered on the tarmac of Shenzhen Airport on Saturday, cheering Meng Wenzhou back to Chinese shores. After more than a thousand days of suffering, I finally returned to my home country. The long wait in a foreign land was very torturous. China, I am back. The Huawei heiress was arrested in 2018 in Canada at the request of the United States, who sought to extradite her on charges of fraud and lying as CFO of Huawei about dealings with Iran despite sanctions. What ensued was a high-profile battle between China, Canada and the U.S. But on Friday, after three years of wrangling, Meng entered a Vancouver court for the seal of approval on a deal reached with federal prosecutors. The agreement states that charges would be dropped next year if she complies with admitting some wrongdoing. About an hour after Meng's plane left for China, Canada's Prime Minister announced the simultaneous release of Michael Spava and Michael Kovrig, greeting them as they touched down at Calgary Airport on Saturday. The two Canadians had also been arrested nearly three years prior on charges of espionage, just hours after Meng's own arrest in what many countries called hostage politics. We have worked tirelessly for the past two and a half years to get them home. Uh, I want to once again highlight the incredible work done by so many. Over the past three years, the arrests have become symbols of Cold War-like animosity between the US and China over trade and tech dominance. For now, though, the triple release has removed at least one thorn in the side of diplomatic relations. Well, for more on this story,